What's up, everybody? My name is Terry Mack. I'm a licensed real estate killer Williams. And I'm gonna tell you how I found my why in real estate. So I'm gonna try to do it under three minutes. If you got three minutes, stick with me, please. So I'm gonna turn the clock back to 2019. I just graduated college and I was trying to think what type of company should I go to? What type of position do I wanna be in? Money I wanna make and uh, just trying to get those questions out because my major, I wasn't exactly in love with my major. I liked it, marketing, but I didn't love it. So I started going down the rabbit hole, I call it, of watching all the YouTube videos and watching Grant Cardone and watching Bigger Pockets, and I just can't get enough of passive income and cash flow and just becoming financially independent. I can't get enough of these videos. So then I just stopped watching them. I said, hey, I need to get some action. Let me get into real estate. So I became an agent. I got a license. Uh, my broker was a great real estate investment firm. And uh, I did a lot of deals in six months and it's starting to slow down for me. So I transitioned to being a more traditional real estate agent. And uh, I kind of seen a little bit of my college education in real estate. So I took this class in college called Urban Studies, taught by the great Jacob Wagner and uh, he taught us about redlining in Kansas City, he taught us about racial covenants. And I really wanna stick with redlining because redlining is when they take the city and they draw a red line in a little danger zone and they mark it red saying, we are not giving these people that live in this zone loans or insurance. So this is a tactic um, that was pretty much used against the black community. And uh, we were able to see, if I turn back the clock out way more, in the Great Depression, FDR revitalized the economy by real estate with a 30-year mortgage making it affordable for the everyday man. And then these tactics like redlining and racial covenants were kind of restricting on black people, not kind of, oppressing black people uh, to get loans to be able to afford this 30 year mortgage and to change the scape of their financial background for their generations to come. So if you own a house, it's a hundred grand, you get 50 grand to your grandkids. That's a real story. My professor told me, not Jacob Wagner, a different professor in finance. He told me that's what his grandma did. She passed, she gave money to the grandkids. So. I just want to encourage people to do that. I want to encourage specifically black people to do that. I feel like we've done it. I just feel like we need to do it more. And that's my why real estate under three minutes.